Hello, my name is Matt Roper, and today I am going to talk to you about culture and uh, how it affects people in America. Um, fair warning, I am not an artist, and this project has some drawings, and there's a reason I am a mass communication major and not an art major. Anyway, uh, so, culture. Um, I'm going to begin by explaining what culture is. It is defined as the beliefs, customs, arts, etc. Uh, of a particular group, society, place, or time. Um, and it basically means that if there are a group of people who share these qualities, they will be considered belonging to the same culture. Um, here in America, we have our own culture. Uh, we value things like football, movies, uh, fashion industry. Um, and these traits all make us American. Uh, among our American culture, though, there are co-cultures, co uh, which are segments of the overall of the overall culture um, that have some different traits from the main culture, but they still belong in the in this case American culture. Um, for example, there is the uh, LGBT community. Um, and which uh, they advocate for equality uh, of their members uh, to be able to live safely and securely among the rest of Americans. Um, other examples would be the many ethnic and racial co-cultures uh, that all have their own histories and qualities that make them unique from each other. All of these cultures uh, create a sense of social identity for their members. Uh, belonging to a group of people who share the same values and history as you uh, will make you feel as if you belong and you have a place in society. Um, it'll also give you something else to talk about in interviews when they ask you to talk about yourself. Along with the previous statements, uh, culture is learned. Um, if I were to move to England, by the way, it's the English flag, not the Union Jack. Anyway, um, I would carry over um, a culture that is different from the one that was established there would bring over an American culture. So, however, over time, I would become accustomed to how their culture operates and works, um, and I would adapt to that culture, uh, following their customs and habits. And that would be an example of acculturation. Um, now, I would still have my American culture, uh, which is the one I would have grown up in, so wouldn't lose my identity, and that is an example of enculturation. Um, however, as much good as culture can bring, uh, it does have its side effects and negative bits, but with those negatives, uh, one of them is culture clash, which is when multiple cultures have disagreements about values and beliefs. Um, they can come in small cases, such as uh, white people white people complaining about black people sagging their pants, or black people people complaining about how white people can't cook food. Um, of course, neither of these are necessarily true about every member of those cultures, um, but nonetheless, uh, people from cultures will complain about the differences between them. Uh, sadly, these small differences can become larger and more troublesome with uh, issues such as racism and stereotyping, and those things can actually lead to uh, formation of hate crimes and hate groups such as KKK and the Nazi party. Um, well, I guess now there'd be neo-Nazis, but still. Um, uh, this can also lead to people being denied rights, such as the transgender community, who uh, have been fighting to have their own rights as Americans uh, respected and believed. Uh, but because of people's ignorance about the people and the culture, they haven't gotten to there yet. Um, and most of these issues stem from ethnocentrism, which is uh, the belief that your one's culture is superior to every other one. Um, now, all of these negatives can honestly be avoided uh, by a few tips. Um, first, understand your own biases and stereotypes. Uh, Understand that if you feel a certain way towards a person or a culture, you need to look into yourself and see what those reasons are. And 
think about if they're honestly worth treating someone as a lesser person because of those differences. Um, secondly, learn to co tolerate cultural differences. Uh, you may not understand why a certain culture believes a certain way or behaves a certain way, um, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, for instance, if a Catholic, uh, one Catholic may say that you can never wear a rosary, it's completely disrespectful, it's not okay. However, another would say that it's completely fine and it's actually encouraged. Um, uh, thirdly, respect uh, cultural differences. Um, if your cowboy friend wants to wear a cowboy hat 24-7, except for, you know, the national anthem or he's sleeping, it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, fourth, educate yourself about other cultures. Um, if there's something you don't understand, you can look it up yourself. There, Google is a really big search engine. You will find hundreds of thousands of answers to your question. Um, and if not that, then you can talk to a close friend who is in that culture about this issue that you don't understand. Uh, just be sure not to talk to a random stranger on the street because that's not th their business. They don't have to answer your questions about their culture. And besides, you probably have a phone. Just look it up. Um, lastly, don't associate an entire group with a single person. Every culture has its members that the rest wish weren't there. Uh, for example, most white people don't like the KKK. Most Christians don't like the Westboro Baptist Church. Most Muslims don't like Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. Most LGBT members don't like gay people who think that since they happen to be a homosexual, gives them a free pass to grope people. Uh, associating a single person with an entire culture is the same thing as seeing a penguin and assuming that all birds swim and don't fly. There are a few instances of two people actually being exactly alike sharing all the same views. People tend to be vastly different from each other, and all you need to do is get to know them.